Well, hello. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, go ahead and, and like it. Uh, subscribe if you want. I'm going to be on uh, a lot more often. Um, also, Tom and Sarah Ministries at gmail.com. I tried to put my QR code up there uh, yesterday. It didn't work out, but uh, Tom and Sarah Ministries at gmail.com is how you can get in touch with me. And, um, and that's kind of uh, and, I, and I really appreciate you doing that. The more people that subscribe, the more exposure. I believe that God has given me a word and um, and I'm not going to hold it back anymore. I'm going to really go for this. And, um, <clears throat> and so I'm excited about the fact that the presence and the power of God is, uh, is, is about ready to be poured out, uh, not only in our nation, but in, in the individual states. Uh, yesterday I mentioned about Alaska. I mean, I mentioned about praying in your state capital. I had people in uh, in Alaska, North Carolina, South Carolina, New Jersey, Florida, Texas, um, Oregon. I had people praying in their, uh, they didn't go to the capitals, but they were praying for their state. And that's what we need to do. Do you know, um, Christians, and, uh, and my feeling is this, that Christians are uh, right now, we're in church and we're contending for blessing and we're contending for stuff and we're contending for um, the material. And God is saying, no, I don't want you to contend for that. I want you to contend for his presence. Remember, he said that if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then... He will hear from heaven, then he will forgive us our sins, and then he will heal our land. All of those things happen. Um, I had uh, an interesting thought, you know, and it's really uncomfortable for me to hold the camera like this, but I'm going to do that. And um, I had this thought that if we would really contend for the presence of God in our particular cities and our nation, um, we would actually thrive. We would actually be, um, yeah, we would actually be, um, what's the word? Uh, uh, we would actually be getting to a place where we can have revival. Now, um, I've told you before that I'm going after revival. I'm going after, uh, I'm going to be starting a revival center. I don't know where yet, but I'm going to be starting a revival center. Um, I don't know if there's actually going to be a church in it. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be a church, but the deal is, is it's going to be a, a revival center. And, and I'm convinced that if we were to take the revival center and train people for, for the, for the work of the ministry, remember that Jesus said, or not Jesus, Paul said, that he gave us, God gave us the apostles, prophets, pastors, evangelists, pastors, and teachers for the equipping of every saint for every good work. For the equipping of the saints for every good work. And, um, and then so I want you to come to this place where you are looking at, this is my job. And so the revival center that I'm going to set up actually is a training center for revivalists. It's not uh, It's not going to be a bless me club. It's not going to be look at me, Lord, hallelujah. It's going to be more of a, uh, more of he is king. I am uh, <clears throat> a servant. I'm a son. I'm a bride. I'm a friend of God. And that I'm going to be stepping up to be who God has called me and wants me to be. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, do, do you hear what I'm saying? It's not. It's not going to be a part where, where I am, um, you know, I'm the main focus or you're the main focus. It's going to be the place of, um, wow. It, it's uh, it, it's it's going to be a place where I have a freedom in in what I am doing, and and you are going to have freedom in what you're doing. Uh, there's going to be deliverances from your past. Remember in deliverance, to be delivered, the chains not only have to fall off the situation, the chains have to fall off uh, uh, you first, right? Uh, remember the chains fell off Peter 
uh, before they ch the, before they fell off the situation, and that's what you have. Okay, so yeah, and I feel that right now. Anybody who's watching this, that any chains that you have had in your situation, that God is 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 removing the chains from you in that regarding that situation and setting you free to be free. He who is free is free indeed. And Jesus is setting you free of those those chains. There's somebody there's somebody who's watching right now and I don't know what year you're watching this, but this is 2023, but um there's somebody out there today that is carrying a weight and they feel like they're sinking into an ocean. And 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 I, and I sense that God wants you to know that he is setting you free from the weight. Uh, of this thing that, that there is a you know and actually it's a it's a it's a weight of sin um uh, a tra an entrapment that the enemy puts you into and he's setting you free of that right now and um it's almost like you are in the water and this heavy weights around your neck and he's coming with scissors and he's cutting it off if you'll let him so i give that to you um i'm looking for a team and I want people who are going to believe with me for a hundred thousand people to be born again and uh, first time born again, which is not really hard in America anymore. But um, I want I want people to actually uh, some uh, one person. If I can have one person who will believe with me, I'll go for that. I'll take that. I believe that one puts a thousand to flight, two put ten thousand to flight. Imagine what three can do. Three can put a hundred thousand to flight, so um, I want to see that in the Lord. I want to see what God can do. So God, give me, give me one, give me three, give me twelve, whatever, and then I'll know and we'll pray and find out where God wants us to start this revival center um, this year. Uh, I'm going to be going to Los Angeles to Azusa Street uh, at some point. I'm going to go to Azusa Street and pray in the alley that is 312 Azusa Street. I'm going to go to the Bonnie Bray House on a Wednesday. And I'm going to, um, at the Bonnie Bray House, I'm going to ask, you know, I'm going to go through the tour. But I also want to pray at the Bonnie Bray House. Now, I had some friends that went down there uh, a number of years ago. I think it was 2018. Yeah, they went, to, I think it was 2018 or 2017, whatever. Anyway, they went down there. And they were praying at the Bonnie Bray house under a tree in front of the in front of the house, and oil dripped down upon them. The oil of the Holy Spirit, in a, in a physical um, manifestation, came down and dripped upon them literally. And um, and so I want to go there. I want I want to touch the heart of God. God told me I'm going to go there and um, and encounter Him uh, in a deeper way. And that the, one of the mantles of uh, William Seymour that he had during Azusa Street is going to fall upon me. And, um, you know, and I remember, I shared this yesterday, but I remember somebody was talking about, yeah, um, you know, back in 1973 when I gave my heart to the Lord, uh, this 93-year-old woman called Ma Smith, who was 20 years old during the time of Azusa Street, she uh, later would always, after every meeting, she would put her hand on my shoulder and then point to all of us. And she, you know, pointed to me as well. She would point to me and then point to everybody else. What Azusa Street carried, I carry. Um, powerful. And so I'm, I'm of the um, belief that God is about ready to pour out his Holy Spirit, not only upon me, but upon you. And... Um, <laughs> And and, and and these things. So I'm going to go to Azusa Street. I believe I'm supposed to be imparted to. And I know some people say, don't go to the grave. There's grave sucking and people grave suck. I don't know about that. I don't know if grave sucking. Um, I know that Bethel um, has never done that. Um, I know that uh, some people have gone to those areas and they have soaked in the presence of the Lord. There's a big difference. Soaked in the presence of the Lord and asked God for the mantle of these men and women. Um, you know, I mean, I want to visit Angelus Temple while I'm down there as well. Uh, and then I'll see where God sends me after that. This is, these are plans that I have for this year. Uh, I want to get that done before December 31st. 
Um, and then, so that's, that's something there. Um, I was thinking of moving to Azusa, uh, to, uh, um, Hawaii to be a part of the youth with a mission group there. I was in, I did my DTS in Latvia, Eastern Europe, and, you know, I'll see if they, if they will have me over there. So I have this, I have this thing and see if I can help out in any way that I can. Um, God's called me to be a teacher. God's called me to preach. Uh, but cleaning toilets is not below me. I mean, for the last three years, I've cleaned toilets. So um, I have all of these things written out and uh, of, of things that I want to do. I have a little whiteboard of things, what, what I need to do. And I, I also have a desire to start a, um, have a desire to start a, um, what do you call it? Um, you know, a, ra a radio station, a communication thing an internet radio station and um so i'll see what happens maybe i'll do that out of the revival center um i pitched it to bethel the uh, music and uh, i have no response yet so um you know we'll see what ends up happening and and how god's going to fund it through the people of god so um speaking of which if you want to give into the ministry you can go into my, uh, my, I don't have a QR code, but send me an email. I do have a QR code. I'll put it in the comments, but send me an email, Tom and Sarah Ministries at gmail.com. And, um, and I will send you the information on, on how to give into the ministry through PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, um, you know, or Zelle. Uh, you can do any of those things. And then there's the traditional ways of, of sending a check or a money order. You know, but but we really want to see people getting behind this ministry, not for my sake, but for the sake of the kingdom and um, and to see the gospel of Jesus Christ, uh, to see it furthered. And, and that's what we're doing. And we're training people to go for the gospel. So anyway, that's what I have for today. I thank you for watching. Um, you know, so this and this revival center is going to be really. Uh, I'm believing God for revival. I talked about it yesterday. Um, you know, what, you know, the thing that ended revival was control. And this is going to be a revival that no man can control except the Holy Spirit. So that's it for today. God bless you. And, um, and we'll see you next time.